Hello and welcome to a special A-League Championship semi-final edition of the Mariners Massive. Central Coast Mariners have made it. We face Brisbane Raw, managed by Warren Moon, in Gosford at the Central Coast Stadium. And there appears to be plenty of team news to go through. On our bench, we have the likes of Marco Urena, back from international duty. He's still a little bit tired. Ruan Tongic, not quite fully fit yet, uh, but uh, he is there on the pine, along with Michael Yanota, who is on his way out of the club. Bit of a fallout between myself and the player. He's looking for more first-team appearances. I just can't guarantee them. For Brisbane Raw, I'm surprised to see the likes of Brindle South and Jay O'Shea, especially, on their bench. Warren Moon keeping them back, potentially, for a game that could go to extra time and penalties. Matthew Gillett is our referee and we look forward to the game. Let's head over to the dressing room. The advice from Big John Aloisi is to say that we've been on a good run lately, so let's go out there and impress me. I'm going to go with him. No reaction. That's fine. Everybody is composed. We have a question from Brad Edgar from the Australian Football Informer. How am I approaching the task of breaching the A-League final series best defence? I mean, they've only played one game. Uh, I think we've got uh, we've got the capabilities to get through. Uh, it's leading the scorers in the final series. We've not played a game in the final series yet. Uh, I want my team to play on the front foot. Is that enough for you? Let's hope so. It is indeed. We are here in beautiful Gosford. Playing our 4-2-3-1, more of a narrow formation. Uh, and as noted, we have not lost to Brisbane Raw this season. That is uh, the formation for Brisbane, a 5-3-2-ish with uh, the likes of Joey Champness uh, up front. He's certainly somebody to look out for uh, as he takes the kickoff, actually. Uh, the defence for Brisbane is really impressive. Has to be said, the likes of Courtney Perkins, Tom Aldred and Macaulay Gillespie uh, with uh, Corey Brown on the left, Jack Hingott on the right. Uh, really solid. Actually, no surprise that their defence was mentioned. Uh, Scott McDonald is making his debut for uh, Central Coast Mariners. Uh, he was released by Brisbane Raw uh, just a couple of weeks ago, has signed for us and is now part of the team. Uh, attempting to make it through to the A-League fi Championship Final, but we've had a pretty poor start. Joey Champness already with the goal. We're 1-0 down, two minutes, not even on the clock. Uh, Danny Kim with the ball in. Mels makes a bit of a hash of it, but he's drawn Mark Birigitti to the near post, and that allows Joey Champness in round the back. It is 1-0. Uh, Joey C., the uh, on-loan Newcastle Jets player, technically, uh, I believe at this stage. Uh, but that just means that we need to fire up the boys, I think, uh, and send them uh, up the field. Let's hope we can get a goal back. Well, certainly before half-time. Anyway, we don't want to uh, go into the second half uh, chasing the game. As Bowman plays it across for Bazanic Nisbet now. Can he do anything from this good position? Matt Simon inside, and there is Daniel Bowman. Didn't score in the real-life A-League this season, but six goals here in the Mariners' Massive. It's Nisbet with the ball on the edge of the area, into Scott McDonald. Good pass to Matt Simon. He plays it, and first time, Daniel Bowman, uh, formerly of the Eredivisie, I believe, uh, back in uh, the A-League, and has levelled things with less than 10 played. There you have it. Uh, in the uh, regular season, uh, Brisbane finished in fifth place. Uh, of course, the Mariners taking uh, all the, uh, the plaudits as we were first uh, in uh, past the post, I suppose you'd call it, in the Premiership. As there is Oli Bazanic with a cruncher of a shot. Fantastic to see. Uh, in the other championship semi-final, that has been won by Adelaide United. They won 2-0 away at Wellington Phoenix with Ryan Kitto and Tommy Merciler with a really late goal. So the final will feature Adelaide United. Now the question is, 
where if Adelaide uh, are the top team in the Premiership in the uh, of the two competing in the Championship final, then they will host, if not, uh, it'll be their opponents. Uh, Lewis Fenton has taken a knock. Right, that is a bit of an issue for us, as we don't have Stefan Negro on the bench. Uh, he is uh, injured, uh, failed a fitness test, and as such was not selected uh, as Jesse Daly on the attack. Hingett now with the ball through, but it's come out to Corey Brown. Good left foot on him, and there is a save by Mark Birigitti. We're going to bring on Gianni Stensness for Fenton. Let's hope uh, that has a good effect. 23 minutes on the clock now as Josh Nisbet uh, picks up a booking. Uh, diminutive in stature, uh, he's certainly got one of the biggest hearts uh, on the pitch as Courtney Perkins plays the ball in. Birigitti with the big save and there's the goal kick all the way upfield. Great kick by Birigitti but it's going to come back now through Dylan Wenzel-Halls. Niedermeyer with a big tackle. It's still not going away though. And the pressure is on, courtesy of the roar. Now Clisby can get the ball free. And it's picked up by Jamie Young, uh, a really experienced veteran goalkeeper uh, for the roar. And that ball's through. And it's Dylan Wenzel Halls has put the roar back in front. What a game this is. Almost on the half hour, uh, the big kick out by Jamie Young. It was like a League Two match. Went straight through the middle. And there's Wenzel Halls on the run. Birigitti can't get there in time. Good volley by DWH. And that is Brisbane back in front. Warren Moon must be uh, smiling on the touchline. I'm not. can tell you that. Uh, of course, if this is the end of the series, which it could be, to be honest, uh, we will feature the final match next week uh, in, the, uh, in the episode. I should actually, I've not had a chance yet, go through the team. Birigiti in goal, it was Fenton, now Stensness at right back. Niedermeyer and Rolls because Tongic isn't quite fit yet. Clisby at left back. Nisbet and Bazanic, central midfield. Ruiz Diaz, Bowman, McDonald in the three attacking midfield positions. And then Matty Simon is, of course, up front. Uh, we have a corner. Oli Bazanic with the ball in. It's cleared up to Wenzel Halls. Bit of a problem because we are not brilliant defending on the counter attack. Uh, it's all the way out to Corey Brown at uh, the left back. Now Danny Kim getting involved. Lots of possession here by Brisbane Raw in a dangerous area. But there's the ball through to Matt Simon. He can't get it on target. Good play by Scott McDonald. Uh, we are hoping to get Urena on the pitch. The issue with him is that he is tired from travelling uh, for his international uh, commitments. But he is back with us. Uh, and on the bench, I suspect I may need to call on him for the second half. Uh, and to be honest, it's going to be Ruiz Diaz that comes off. Uh, in real life, he's, he hasn't been with the Mariners this season. He actually left, but only uh, following the, the lock on data for football manager. So uh, he was still included in the Mariners uh, squad. Uh, and as such, I've been picking him. But uh, it doesn't seem to be doing a lot of work today. Bowman, of course, with that goal, McDonald was involved uh, and we just saw then that he played a good ball through for Matt Simon. So it does look like Ruiz Diaz will be making way uh, for the Costa Rican international uh, at the break. 2-1 down, but uh, our XG is better than our opponents, which is something of an issue. Uh, right, I do want to see something uh, else from the boys. wonder if we can just get in behind here. Right, start the second half and then we're going to immediately make that change. Uh, the software for recording what's on the screen uh, does happen in the bottom left corner, which is exactly where I need uh, to be able to get uh, at the substitution key. So, Ruiz Diaz plays it forward. Is he going to prove me wrong here by getting something early on? Stensness forward, but it is a throw-in. Uh, it looks like down by the corner flag. Uh, meanwhile, Urena is on, and he's going to pick up a booking immediately. I mean, literally 30 seconds since he entered the field. Uh, that does not bode well, to be honest. 
Uh, but it does show that both Ruiz Diaz and Urena in the same position picked up a yellow card within minutes of each other. So that could have been a sending off for Ruiz Diaz. Uh, so good decision by myself. Let's see the shot map while we're here. I do like looking at that just to see where we're going wrong here. Let's encourage the boys as Jesse Daly takes a free kick straight down the throat of Mark Birigitti. Big kick out from him. There it is. But it's over the top. Bit of a, a, a muddle there for uh, Jamie Young. But the ball was cleared all the way up to Hingert now. Can he get across in there? McDonald pressuring Daly. The ball goes in and George Mells goes close. This is a big problem now. We are approaching the hour mark and the Central Coast Mariners are still behind. Uh, Rolls doing well at the back. Always worries me when uh, there's plenty of text but not enough highlight. Uh, here's Nisbet with the corner now. Delivery inside. Cleared up the field. But it's going to come back in through Nisbet low and hard. Can he get uh, it into the mixer? Scott McDonald now. Ball is cleared up to Rolls. That should uh, be... The, I was going to say the end of the attack, but it's not. Because Dylan Wenzel Halls has just finished off the chance. And that is 3-1 to Brisbane. And it is game over for the Mariners. I don't see us coming back from a two-goal deficit. And it's time then to throw caution to the wind I mean he doesn't want to be here but it looks like he's going to have to come on for Scott McDonald now, Stensness down the wing it's not his game is it at right back just unlucky to have the injury to our the one player uh, we don't really have a replacement for uh, Birigiti again with the kick out, this time he goes low to Clisby now Bazanic involved can he get a cross in? he can but oh it's, it's a corner isn't it I think we were hoping for a little bit more than that. Yanota on, but the corner not dangerous enough to warrant a highlight. Here we are on the hour. All three substitutions have been made, which is a concern. We've got two goals to make up and doesn't look very likely at this stage. I know people will be thinking, why not make sure that your side wins this one? I can't do it though. This is real. This is football manager you can't win every game just not possible unless you're you know Real Madrid or Manchester City or somebody then you pretty much can win every game but not here we've won lots in the regular season but the final series seems to be a step too far we are going very attacking as Urena goes close we are going to demand more we never do that as the corner comes in from Bazanic, it's played out all the way to Corey Brown. Now Wenzel Hall's on the attack. Fizzles out there, let's assume. Mariners are looking to take the game to our opponents. 70 minutes on the clock. It's still not looking good, is it? Daly trying to make something happen for Brisbane Raw. What do we do? Do we throw people forward? I think we're going to have to, aren't we? Let's see if we can throw our two uh, fullbacks into uh, wide midfield roles. Let's do it. We're leaving two at the back. We are going all out attack. We're probably going to get picked off, but uh, why not give it a go and see what happens? We need two goals and we've got 12 minutes to do it. Clisby plays the uh, throw in. There's the clearance by Courtney Perkins now. Champness on the ball. Gillespie. Can we cut it out? We can. Yanota gets the low cross in, but Stesnas has to recover. And he couldn't find a man. And now look at the numbers. They've, we've got nothing in defence, have we? And it's a corner to Brisbane. Short one to back to Wenzel Halls. Now Hingert. Can he do anything with the ball? He can find Corey Brown. But uh, he was offside. Strangely. Uh, Birigiti with the big ball upfield. Hingert controls though. And now it's Kim to Corey Brown. 
I thought that was going to be the fourth goal uh, as Birigiti plays a big one downfield. It's not going to where the players are. And that's a great strike by Wenzel Halls. That is cleared by Mark Birigiti. He's basically on his own at the back there, to be fair. Uh, we need the ball going upfield. Less than 10 minutes to play. Bazanic tries something here with Yanota. Clisby with the cross. We've got a corner. Still not seeing a highlight. Now Matt Simon judged offside. Niedermeyer booked. We'll take it. Daly with the ball in. Birigiti. Good catch. Big kick downfield. There's Clisby. Play the ball in, son. And it's away. Oh, it's a strike off target by Daniel Bowman. Tom Aldred now in the book. Everybody's in the book. Referee Gillett. He is taking the letter of the law here. Simon again offside. He hasn't been offside for 10 years. Clearance to Hingit. There's two around him, but look at that. No pressure on the ball whatsoever, lads. Jamie Young with the kick out. Nisbet now. Now Yanota. We need to get a goal back, but no problem for Jamie Young. Fields it. Catches out of the air. Joey Champness with a strike at the other end. Oh, it's all action here, but it's not happening for the Mariners. There's a ball in field to Joey Champness. Should have put the Raw 4-1 ahead. Absolutely should have done. Daly now with the ball. Again, it's going back to Wenzel Halls. They've done the same move three times now, lads. Champness has got the cross. No, he's offside. Three minutes of added time have been signalled. And it's just not happening for Central Coast Mariners. The one occasion when we really needed it to go for us. It's not happened, has it? Less than a minute to play. And it is all over. There's Urena giving away a free kick. Daily to play it in. He's got a good peg on him. In fact, he goes out to Aldred. Back to the wing position. And that is game, set and match. Central Coast Mariners are eliminated from the A-League final series. So much as in real life, uh, we didn't get further than uh, our first game in the finals, which happened to be the semi-finals uh, going against, uh, against the grain. And unfortunately, uh, the A-League final will be between Adelaide United and Brisbane Raw. That will be next week on uh, on the Mariners Massive. We will feature that game, absolutely. We're going all the way to the end uh, just to find out exactly what went down. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a disappointing day for the Mariners, but uh, it's true to life and not all games you can win. Uh, life is a game which is unfair, it's cruel, and we all know that. Central Coast Mariners are out of the final series. I'll see you next week.